students welcome back to one more session on c programming in this session i am going to show you to write a simple program using the if statement so this program is going to print a message you have guessed the lucky number congratulations if the num user enters the number 100 so in order to try out this program first we need to declare a variable called as number okay i'm not going to give it any value i'm just going to leave it as it is next step what i'm going to do is i'm going to ask the user to enter a number enter a or i'm going to say guess the lucky number guess the lucky number so the user is going to enter some number okay he's going to guess any number but just to make it easy for him i'll say guess a guess the lucky number between 1 to 150 okay he can guess any number between 1 to 150 so if the user enters the number 100 then i'm going to say you have guessed the lucky number and then congratulations so let's see how we write the if statement so i'm going to say if number here we are comparing so it's going to be this equal to sign here if i give it the initial value zero here i am assigning num with zero whereas here i am comparing number with 100 so if number is equal to 100 then what i'm going to do here is i'm going to open up the flower brace okay and i'm going to print the message congratulations you have guessed the lucky number all right you have guessed the lucky number and slash here then on the next line what i'm going to say is i'm going to print the message goodbye okay goodbye slash n and then i'm going to halt the code now i would like to explain this particular piece of simple code so that you really understand how the if statement works so i have declared a header file stdio.h because i am using the statement called as printf then what i have to do is i have to use a scanf to read this particular number so i am going to say scanf percentage d okay address of a number so okay, i am going to read the number into a variable called as number then in the next step what i am doing is if the number happens to be 100 or if the user has guessed the number 100 I am going to print the message congratulations you have guessed the lucky number and then I am going to say good bye all right and then I am going to do a return zero because I am trying to stay with the standards of C99. Now a few things you need to understand this flower bracket indicates here these two flower brackets indicates this is a block of statements in this block I have got two statements printf1 and printf2 this block indicates that both these statements are belonging or do belong to this if statement so if this if statement happens to be true both these messages will get executed if the if statement happens to be false then nothing is going to be printed so let's try printing nothing first so i'm going to run this particular code so it's going to automatically compile and once it compiles i'm going to enter a certain number so on the left bottom side of your screen if you say it's asking me to guess a lucky number between 100 to 150 so let me make a guess as 125 so when i enter 125 you will see that really nothing came on the screen now let's run this again and let's enter the number 100 now let's see what happens i enter the number 100 and i press the enter key now it says congratulations you have guessed the lucky number and goodbye so both these statements associated with the if were executed now let's try to clarify this block concept a little bit i remove this flower bracket if i remove this flower bracket then what happens is only this particular first printf gets associated or linked with the if so whether number is 100 or not this goodbye message is always going to be printed in order to show that let's run this particular piece of code so now let's see what happens so it's compiling 
Let me enter the number 125. Although 125 is not the lucky number, but you will still see the message goodbye at the bottom left of your screen because only this first printf was associated or linked with the if statement. This fellow was not connected with anything. Okay, so just be sure you understand the concept of a block. So this is a separate statement not connected with the if. Now if I run it say for 100, it will still print the message congratulations, but it's also going to print the message goodbye. Okay, so if based on entering 100, it's printed the message congratulations, you have guessed the lucky number as well as the message goodbye. So with this, I hope you have understood the simple if statement. Just to be clear, this stands for equality. Two assignment signs together or two equal to signs together stands for equality in C programming. This stands for assignment. Here zero is copied to number. Whereas here, 100 is compared with number, neither number nor 100 changes after that. Whereas in an assignment, number, whatever value it contains is going to be replaced with a zero.